The world's most advanced hunter-killer submarine was today welcomed into the Royal Navy fleet at a ceremony in Barrow. HMS Anson is 1.3 billion pounds of both naval stealth and striking power, able to gather vital intelligence, protect other Royal Navy vessels from threats above and below the waves and destroy enemy military infrastructure with pinpoint accuracy. Citing from Royal Navy website, the submarine was commissioned at Bay Systems Yard in Cumbria in front of her crew and their families, plus naval leaders, Secretary of State for Defence Ben Wallace, Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Australian Deputy Prime Minister Richard Marlis, and the sponsor, patron, Julie Wheel. Anson is the fifth of the new Astute-class submarines to join the Royal Navy fleet, joining HMS Astute, Ambush, Artful and Audacious. The boat's first commanding officer, Commander David Crosby, said that given the effort, skill and enterprise invested in constructing the submarine, made more challenging over the past two and a half years by the restrictions imposed by the pandemic, HMS Anson would go on to be the best astute class submarine yet. Armed with a combination of up to 38 Spearfish torpedoes and Tomahawk Block V cruise missiles, Anson can take out enemy ships, submarines, destroy land targets up to 1,000 miles away and launch and recover Royal Marines raiding and reconnaissance teams, among other capabilities. The Astute program is one of the most complex engineering projects in the world. Anson will remain in Barrow for several more weeks undergoing final checks, tests and tweaks to her system before she sails for her future home at Hem Naval Base Clyde in Fislane, where she will prepare for sea trials. It has taken more than 11 years, and some 20 million hours work by an estimated 10,000 people from 400 firms and organizations across the UK, for the 8,000-ton boat to be ready for action.